Hey what is up you guys, Gliski here and today we are back with a step by step pet companions guide for D&D and we are going to make another Pokemon, this time Bulbasaur. We've already done the other two generation 1 starters and this is the last one before I start getting into some wild Pokemon. So let's get right into this. Uh, um, character name is Bulbasaur with class being Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to go down to the choose body type and I'm going to pick the, where is it? frog like okay i'm not gonna be able to copy that i'm just, just gonna type it frog like and then if we go up to the pet type table we're gonna pick plant a frog like plant well oh, that didn't even type in frog like plant there we go so just like um before um there is this system they have here of everything is at eight and you have 18 points to spend to get your stats to how you want it we're not going to do that, we're going to do standard array, and this one is actually going to be a special attacker, unlike our other two which are physical. So we're actually going to put the 15 in dexterity, because our um, ranged attacks are dexterity in this game. Um, next, we're going to get a, a bit of bulk, again, put a constitution plus 2 with our 14. Um, we are going to make kind of a more intelligent, oh, that's not the right one. That's 12 and 13. More intelligent and wise Pokemon. Um, Charisma can be, what is it, 10? With the plus zero. And then strength we don't really need at this point. So that is a negative one. Our proficiency bonus is always plus two at level one. So let's scroll all the way down until we find the elemental, not elemental, we're looking for ooze, not ooze, we're looking for plant, here we go. Plant features of certain ca characteristics. Bonus trait, ability, uh, ability score increase, the, plants, uh, the plant increases strength or constitution by two or both by one. Since we don't really care about strength, we're going to go with that constitution two, make that a... 16 and make that a plus 3 to constitution we do have this is the bulkiest one a bulky special attacker we have here and then we have plant immunity we have um the plant is immune to blinded and deafened so it cannot be blinded blinded or deafened next we have the hardy nature which is actually quite funny because uh because um pokemon actually have natures but this one brings its armor class to 13 naturally and plant senses, the plant has blind vision 60 feet. Next we have special movement, the plant gains your choice of burrow, um, climb, fly or swim. We are going to go with burrow 20 feet because it is a plant and they do sit in the ground. Saving throws, we just like the other ones, we have all of them, doesn't really matter. And with these stats here um, with our skills we have perception here and nature right above it going through these um, these are all just what they are on the other on the other sheet um, the, with um, saving throws we'll put our strength which is negative one but would add our proficiency bonus so that'll be plus one dexterity plus two plus two which would be plus four constitution plus three plus two which would be plus five and so on same with down here, except um, with these it will be dexterity, so that would just be plus two. Wisdom will be plus one. Oh, I didn't even hit the box. Plus one. And uh, deception will be like a plus zero because it is charisma. But if we get down to nature and perception, we do get our proficiency bonus on that. So our wisdom is plus one, plus our proficiency bonus that will be plus three. Oh, that one. Well, they're both the same, so plus three for both of those. I'm not going to go through all of them. That was just a quick description. Uh, we are going to go to make it tiny. I'm just going to put that in the personality traits because there's no real other spot to put it, which gives us a speed of 10 feet and a hit die of 1d4. Um, where do we actually pick our health? I forgot to do that. Um, I believe it is somewhere up here. Nope, I've lost it. I don't know where it is. Well, let's go back to plant. Um, our hit points is 1d8. Doesn't really matter. But our first level is 8 plus constitution modifier. 
So that means it is 8 plus 3, which is 11, which is our highest hit points out of all of the Pokemon we've made so far. Let's scroll down to the next page and pick an attack. We're going to go with a ranged attack with ranged needles. Put that in there. Um, spell attack is 3 plus proficiency plus dexterity. So 3 plus 2 plus 3. Uh, with a range of, I'm going to put here, 30 to 60 feet. It does make it a bit small, but that's okay. We can read it anyway if we just zoom in a little bit like this. doesn't matter. Um, targets one creature and hit is 2d6 piercing. We're going to go with piercing damage because it, they are needles. They do pierce. And then um, up here we have the plant traits. Um, there's damage absorption lightning whenever your pet is subject to lightning damage it takes no damage and regains a number of hit points we have death burst spores when the pet explodes when it uh, drops to zero hit points each creature with 20 feet of it must succeed a constitution saving throw um, false appearance while your pet remains motionless it is indistinguishable um, from nearby common flora or surroundings. so I'm going to go with false appearance and we're going to put that one just here and I believe that is it for our character sheet. If I just zoom out and scroll on the next page, yep, that is it. So here we have our Bulbasaur. Um, just like with the other ones, when they level up, um, you can your DM can choose a level when they evolve, and you'd pretty much just keep going through this this um character or this class. So you're like starting level two and tenth level, you gain some things. You might get like different attacks and so on and you're, every time you evolve you get your size up which means you get an extra 10 feet speed so yeah that's Bulbasaur if you like this video like this video don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and don't forget to comment in the comment section below what Pokemon you want me to make character sheets of they are just going to be basic ones so if there are if you do say like an evolution like just I'll say as an example Gliscor I will actually do Glider because it's level one. These are level one character sheets, and I leave the rest for this is like a, a build, like you'd see online for like Smogon or v, VGC. You would, I'm leaving you guys a build, and then you guys can build on it while leveling up because it is your Pokemon from then on. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.